So, from that activity, if we are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, we need to reverse flip, however you want to say that, that inequality symbol. We're still doing something to both sides of our inequality. So if we're going to decide to multiply by something, we need to multiply both sides. To get rid of multiplication, it's inverse. We will divide. If we have division, we will then multiply. So again, to get rid of multiplication, inverse is division. To get rid of division, inverse is multiplication. What you have to be careful of, if you ever multiply or divide by a negative, we need to reverse the inequality symbol. Less than becomes greater than. Greater than becomes less than. Less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to. Just switch the direction of which way the mouth is opening, which way the point is pointing. Flip-flop that. If there was an or equal to, keep it in there. If there was not an or equal to, don't put one in there. So for number one, keeping our variable from being by itself, I see that d is being divided by 5. To get rid of division, I will multiply. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. You are multiplying by a positive number. Therefore, the inequality symbol stays the same. Negative 7 times 5, negative 35. So even though your answer is a negative value, you do not flip the inequality symbol. You multiplied by a positive, keep it the same. And then remember at least three values on those number lines. So negative 35, no or equal to, open dot, less than, my shading will come to the left there. For number two, x divided by three. To get rid of division, we will multiply. So multiply both sides by three. We multiplied by a positive, therefore that inequality symbol remains the same. x is less than 12. No or equal to, open dot, less than, my shading will come again to the left. For number three, our B is being divided by five. To get rid of that division, we will multiply by five. Very similar to number one, except my variables on the other side. Negative 2.4 times five is negative 12. Do I need to flip my inequality symbol? No. Yes, the answer is negative, but what did you multiply by? You multiplied by a positive, so that inequality symbol stays exactly the way it was. Watch our variables on the right. Read it. <clears throat> B is less than or equal to. So when we go to graph then, solid dot because of the or equal to, B is less than or equal to, our shading is going to come to that left-hand side. For number four, be careful. Notice this negative in front. We're dividing by negative three. To get rid of that division by negative three, I'll multiply by negative three. This is the first one that we have multiplied by a negative value. What does that mean? that inequality symbol needs to be reversed or flipped. So instead of being less than or equal to, I'm now greater than or equal to. Two times that negative three, negative six. Or equal to, solid dot at that negative six, greater than or equal to, shading coming to that right hand side. So again, number four is the only one that we multiplied by a negative. It doesn't matter what the result is. The number in your final answer could be a positive number. If you multiplied by a negative, you must flip that inequality symbol.